Ah, so battery was empty. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a power test. So I made several coils. It's not a coil that I will use for something. Just want to know how they etch and or laser. Oh, I forgot to put record on. So this is 40%, uh, not 40%, 40 out of 255. So in percentages like one fifth or something. I'm gonna do them by hand. So now I go to 50 out of 255. And by the looks of it, it does disable the laser when it moves. So that's nice. I could have done this in one thing. I'll try that after this. Still need to find a way to focus this uh, beam better because I think it could be smaller, but it's hard to see. I moved it a little bit up, a little bit down. I don't know. Try the all in one, see if that works. That would be nice. If so, then uh, I really enjoy this thing so far. Yes, it works. Nice. It should adjust the power in between these coils. There's no way for me to check this, but... They all look the same except for the 80 setting might be heating the foil up too much. So maybe you can see that from the backside better. <clears throat> I'll just clean them up with some alcohol. There must be a better way but I don't know how. Ah, no, this is going wrong. Ah, fuck. This paint does not like the alcohol. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do it again. So, um, apparently uh, this paint does not like uh, alcohol. Let's see if it likes a little bit of soap. Not even sure if that's a good idea, but I'll try this one. Okay. Mm. I got my um, ferric chloride. Is it ferric chloride? Yes. Instead of my regular, because it etched better this time. I don't know why. I heated it up to around 33 degrees Celsius, that is, on a stove, in a plant pot, yes. Mm. 
Now this would be nice if it was sitting on something that I could dump in the etchin instead of being a floppy foil. But it's gonna be a floppy foil. I see some holes, so I don't know, that should not be... I'm probably looking at the aluminium, so the miler here on the highest power, 18, the miler got destroyed with the glue and the aluminium is still in place. So 80 is not gonna work. But let's see what's, what's the best. If 40 is the best, I might even have to go lower. Now this is really hard to film and it's also really hard for me to see if it etched correctly, yes or no. Yeah, I'm probably gonna remove it because I cannot see if it etched completely. Not at all. I am not able to show you this, but the 80 one is like almost nicely etched, and the lower the power rating, uh, it's less etched. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day. Poor tweezers. Poor kitchen as well. So this is what it is. I'll find something to clean off the paint, maybe. Or do I leave it? I'll clean it just to have a little bit more to see. So this is the 80, which does look the cleanest. And if we go lower, not sure if that's visible on camera, it's so tiny. It has like, that's nah, not visible on camera. It doesn't look as clean. There's like a little wobble. So I don't know. Eighty power. Seventy, sixty, fifty, and there you can see it. Forty is has a little bit of crap. Well, let's measure in. I think a few are shorter. I wanted to say also, I don't know, there's something weird going on. I, lo I lost my zero. And not just lost my zero, there's a hole in here. Something I just explained is not possible. Now what I think happened... <laughs> what I think what happened is it melted a mylar there. And then the aluminium got etched away and now there's a hole. Which is quite interesting. If you think of it. <laughs> hmm. I might need to try it on like 
full power, see what it does. I mean, it should not cut aluminium. I'm pretty sure that it won't. Even this 9 micron aluminium should not cut. If so, that's whew, giving a lot of other opportunities, maybe. But it's weird, the action on the 80 looks better than on the 40. Although the lines are a little bit smaller as well. Let's get the meter out. So first I'll measure from the mylar to the coil, see if it shorts out to the surroundings. And this one clearly does, 0 0.3 ohm. So this coil is not usable. 50, on the other hand, does not have to short. Let's see how the coil measures. 1.6, it shorted out somewhere. This is not shorted to the surroundings at 60. The coil itself is 4.4. Mm -hmm. I think still it shorted out somewhere. 70 power, no shortage to the surroundings. And 5.2, 5.3, and I think that should be the impedance it should have. Let's see the 80. Not shorted out to the surroundings. 5.1, 5.2. So power rating 70 and 80 kind of work. And it's also what I noticed that looks the cleanest without like small hazes in between tracks, which is leftover aluminium. That's why the other ones are shorted. Now at 70, uh, the fact that there's a hole now, that might be a problem. <laughs> That's not what a... Uh, what it should do. <coughs> so it etches the best, but it also rapes, sorry, it fucks up. It fucks up the mylar so much, uh, apparently I got a hole here after etching. So the aluminium fell out probably. Now this is mylar and this mylar does not like heat very much at all. So I bet if you do this on the captain, that might not be a problem. Uh, and I might be able even to raise the power. Then the 80 looked best. Uh, what I also think, you know, it, evaporate, it evaporates uh, the uh, paint better. And also it might clean the aluminium as well because it he it's heated up like insanely. Which also um, makes the action better. Because this looks quite impressive. If you look at it. Uh, and it ever focuses. Can I? Looks a little bit wibbly wobbly, but this is my finger, you know, so. The traces or spacing between traces is rather tiny. Maybe the back side shows it better. It does, but it, the traces or the width between looks bigger now, which is, it's not that big. Here, this looks rather clean. This is 80. And we go all the way back to yeah, here it's clearly visible. Do you see all this ragged thingies? Ragged. Also, and then the last two, 70 and 80, are the ones that are not shorted out and look the best as well. A bit fucked up here and a little bit too hot, as you can see there. It, <laughs> it evaporated the mylar, I guess. So 70 looks decent, but uh, it left a hole, so... Higher power, better etching. Uh, higher power, worse looking mylar. Which is uh, no surprise because mylar does not heat like heat very much. So now the question is, 
Maybe you can do the same with lower power, but hit it twice. That might be the case. I could try that next. And then, if that doesn't work, this kind of miler just doesn't work for this kind of method. And I have to go captain, see what that does. And then I could increase power even. I will. And although I'm pretty sure it cannot cut aluminium, I will use some 4 micron. See if it does anything to it. I think it doesn't do shit. See ya.